On side two, we're going to create, obviously, two dots, or in our case, circles. If you've been following along, side one should have been on the top face. Side two, we will place on the left side of the cube. An easy way to find that side is to click on the left side of this view cube. So we have our blank face. First, we need to create our sketch and then extrude remove that sketch. Click on the sketch button. The sketch window dialog pops up and we have to select the sketch plane. Select this left face. Now we can start our sketch. We'll create two center lines across the faces and use them to position our circles. Click the line button and then the construction line button since we want to make this a center line and not part of our extrusion. Hover over the top edge until it highlights and move the cursor along until the orange box appears, indicating you're at the center of the line. Click once to start your line. Now drag the line downward to the bottom edge of the face. Find the center of the edge with the orange box highlighting, then click again to set the line position. Now you'll notice that Onshape wants you to keep drawing line segments, so just press Escape to cancel out of it. Now let's create a horizontal center line with the same method. Click Line. Click Construction Line, find the center of the edge, click once to start the line, and drag to the other edge, find the center, click again to place, and then press the Escape button to exit. Next, we'll draw our circles. Select Center Point Circle and draw two circles. I'll be drawing mine at the top right and the bottom left. Remember, Click once to start it, and a second time to end it. So we have our circles and our center lines, so we'll use dimensions to position them exactly where we want them. Select the Dimension tool, make sure your cursor has changed to a cross, and the Dimension tool is highlighted. Click the vertical center line, and then the center point of the circle, and then click again to place the dimension. The dimension becomes highlighted, so we can change its value. Enter 0 0.15 inches. For this face, we'll do this three more times. Then, I'll deactivate the dimension tool by clicking on it again or pressing the escape key. Okay, now notice that the circle center points are black. We've defined their locations, and if I try to click and drag them, I cannot. However, the circles themselves are still blue because their sizes are undefined, and I can click and drag to change their size. Let's define their size. I'll select the dimension tool again, click on the outside of the circle, Click again to place my dimension and set the value or its diameter to 0 0.1 inches. I'll do the same with the other circle. Then I'll press Escape to deactivate the dimension tool. OK, everything is defined, so we're done with this sketch. Click the green check button to accept the sketch. Now we can create our holes. Click the Extrude button. I always like to slightly rotate my view so I have a 3D view of the face I'm extruding. OK, so leave solid selected since we're working with solids and not surfaces. Next, select Remove since we want to remove material from our solid. For the blue input box, select the inside of the two newly sketched circles. The preview, like last time, is showing the holes going through the entire cube, which is not what we want. Remember last time we set the depth to 0 0.025 inches. We'll do the same here. Make sure end type is set to blind. Click the green check button to accept and exit the window. 